Hi guys, Adam McCauley here for Full Time Deals with Outside. For those, we've all just met Dwight York. We're in Chicago. I'm with a Chicago Red. Eric Brown. And I'm with some Boston Reds. <laughs> James Melfi. Tara Youssef. And we're here to talk about Manchester United versus PSG. Obviously, United's last game in the tour is, is on Wednesday, tomorrow. And United will be playing PSG. So guys, obviously, we've been playing with our first 11, apparently. That's what Louis van Gaal has said for the last 70 minutes. But do you want to see the youth given an opportunity? Of course, absolutely. And what have you made of their performances so far? Their performances speak for themselves. I mean, Tyler Black is playing out of position. Yanaja is playing as a striker instead of a winger. You just have to look at what they've been doing out of position. They've just been absolutely fantastic. Play there in their normal positions. Play Black at a set, left side as center back. Play Yanaja in the left wing. Memphis in the hole, or on the other wing. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, the possibilities are endless this season. Champions. The, nothing, nothing short of that is acceptable. Do you, do you re reiterate that? I do want to see a mix of the voice. I have absolutely no voice, but uh, I do want to see a mix of a semi-first team slash some of the young guns. Um, I'd love to see Mata in the hole, Deepai out wide, finally. Uh, see what he's got, see if he can cross a few balls in. Um, I'd like to see Herrera maybe next to Schneiderlin, see what he can do. Because um, when he came out against Barcelona, it was just absolute magic and they open the whole game up so we'd like to see the same thing as uh, last game. You reckon? I like the mix. I love my favorite two, Mata and Herrera. The Spanish flair in there, Ooh. you can't beat it. Ooh. Do you think Mata can play in central midfield? A lot has been made of his positioning. Does he play out wide? Does he play in the hole? Swap with Deepai. Do you think he can play in the middle? Mata can play anywhere you want him. <laughs> anywhere you want him. He can play anywhere. Eric, what do you think? Mata can play anywhere, let's be honest. He's playing out of position on the right wing, cutting in on his magical left foot. But his best position is his number 10. Mata on the left, or Deepai. Deepai, Memphis on the left, Mata in the hole, find someone else on the right. Man, this, this is possibly the best looking midfield we've had in five, six, seven years. It's, Mata needs to be in the hole. He's floating around. He's barely a winger as it is. Darmian will have to see if he can overlap and cross the ball. I've been, I've been worried about, obviously, we've been talking about centre-backs. Daley Blin started there more often than not on pre-season tour. Well, he started there every game on pre-season tour. Do we go with Smalling and Jones? Obviously, Louis van Gaal likes his left-backs, uh, sorry, left-footed centre-halves. Um, so what do we go with? Um, and he's saying that if we don't get Ramos, we stick with what we have, which is a little bit of a worry. Obviously, we got Marcus Rojo to come back. Um, would you start Hernandez or Rojo uh, in the game? That's a tough one. I mean, Smalling looked really, really good at the end of last season. Um, Jones a little kind of flaky there and there. I would almost maybe do Smalling and Rojo. I know he's played Blind a lot this uh, preseason. Um, but he may not have the height to kind of make it happen. So we'll kind of see what he decides. But in my opinion, I'd love to see a Smalling Rojo as our as our first team. You know, I kind of agree with you. If I was to give my 11 right now, go David De Gea in goal, then I go right back Damian, left back Luke Shaw, Smalling and Rojo as well. I agree with you. Um, in, in, in midfield, I'd go with Schweinsteiger's back, but I'd go with Carrick, Schneiderlin and Herrera. That man has to start. You love Herrera, don't you? I love Herrera. I have his jersey. I'm hoping <laughs> to get it signed tomorrow. That'd be great. But we need Carrick. We need Carrick, Carrick in there. You know. It's hard to believe it's not schools. <laughs> um, with Carrick, obviously, Schweinsteiger and him could swap places, but I'll go with Carrick, Schneiderlin, Herrera. Up front, Deepai, Rooney, and then Juan Mata. What do you think about that? Uh, it's tough. We, for, once in, for once in the past couple of years, we have options. We have legitimate options in the midfield and in the forward positions. Personally, I'd like to see Carrick and Schweinsteiger rather than Schneiderlin because they have that balance in midfield. On the wings, Memphis. And I'd almost want to see Yanajai just to, just to see what he's got. Or Jesse Lingard. God, Jesse Lingard has looked fantastic. He's come on a little bit, hasn't he? I'm sorry, but if anyone hasn't paid attention to this young man's career, pay attention. He is going to be the next big thing at United. 
Yeah. Uh, if he's given the proper chance, Jesse Lingard will tear it up. I, I agree with you. We're going to go to predictions now, obviously. Jesse Lingard is looking like a beast ever since he's come out. The problem with him is he's had a few good pre-season and then he's not quite kicked down and, and he made had that it. that injury um, against yeah. Swansea. Right. Yeah. So. Um, moving on from that anyway, we're going to go to predictions now. Score predictions for the final pre-season game against Paris Saint-Germain. Uh, 3-1 United. Unfortunately, I, th I think... I think Sideshow Bob is going to come back with a late one just to uh, knock off David De Gea's clean sheet. And by the way, Paris Saint-Germain are offering 28 million for, da uh, for, for, for Di Maria. They pay, they pay 50 for Sideshow Bob. You're having a laugh, mate. Score prediction? 2-0. I like 2-0. I like 2-0 like with Luke Shaw on the scoot shirt. Luke Shaw? I, why not? Is that a good preseason? He's it? overlapping? He makes it happen. I like it. Uh, is that too much? Is it too I think you need to go put a tenner on Luke Shaw winning. Scoring a goal, rather. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. I'm going for 2 0 Manchester United. I think we United will win, see the preseason out on a hype. But I'm looking forward to the game. Last game here in Chicago. Remember, guys, you can subscribe to Full Time Devils. You can keep up to track with the preseason tour. Hashtag Devils on Tour on Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, Come all of that. United. There's Nicky yeah. Butt. There's Nicky Butt. Move out of the way, Nicky. Anyway, guys, I'm Adam McCola, and we are out of here. We've been down by the bay talking to a load of Americans and showing them some images of footballers but not dressed as they should be. And we're going to find out what they think these footballers' occupations are.